Why, hello. Welcome to Lecture 6 of Math 1B03. In today's lecture, we're going to be looking at solution sets of linear equations. So if you're looking in your textbook, what we're doing is we're looking at section 1.5, and we're going to expand upon some of the uh, items that are in this section. So in today's lecture, we kind of have two main goals. We want to first introduce homogeneous systems of linear equations. And the second thing that we want to do is we want to be able to describe all solutions to a system linear equation as a span of vectors in certain cases. So let's first start with a homogeneous linear system. So what is a, homo uh, what is a homogeneous linear system? Well, a system of linear equations is homogeneous if it has the vector matrix vector form Ax equals 0. This is a matrix, uh, matrix equation. So normally we have an arbitrary vector here uh, where the 0 is. But in this case, what we want is our matrix equation to be equal to the 0, ve to the zero vector. So put this guy right here. This is the, the 0 vector. Now, one thing, nice thing about a homogeneous system of linear equation is that it always has at least one solution. You will never have an inconsistent system when you have a homogeneous system. And I want you to think about it for a second. Well, what is going to be a solution to this system? Well, you're actually going to have a solution if you take the vector x to be 0. All right? So what is the solution? Namely, if you take x to be the appropriately sized vector consisting of all zeros. Right? And this is actually given a name. So normally called the trivial solution. Okay? And it, part of the reason it's called the trivial solution is that any homogeneous system has this solution. Okay. So let me just give you an example of a homogeneous system of linear equations. So here I have a collection of, a collection of linear equations, and I know it's a homogeneous system because I have them all equal to zero. And in fact, let me just rewrite everything in terms of the matrix equation so you, this will be more explicit. So I have 1, 3, minus 2, minus 2, minus 5, 4, minus 1, 2 and 2 multiplied by the vector x1, x2, x3, and I'm setting this equal to the zero vector. Okay. And it's clear that if I plug in zero for all the x's, then I actually get solutions to this equation. Okay. So when we're dealing with homogeneous system of linear equations, the fundamental question about these systems is, does it have just the trivial solution or does it have an infinite number of solutions? Okay. Does a homogeneous system of linear equations have only the trivial solution, remember you can have one solution, or an infinite number of solutions. So when you come across a homogeneous system of linear equations, and they pop up numerous times in linear algebra, what you're trying to do is you're trying to differentiate between these two cases. Do you have a trivial solution, or do you have an infinite number of solutions? Now, this question actually has a, a pretty straightforward answer. We have a non-trivial solution if and only if the system has at least one free variable. Okay, And this should make sense, and we'll illustrate this through in the, in the next example, is that when we have a free variable, you're going to have an infinite number of solutions. We talked about that earlier, about when we were row reducing. So let's see this in, in practice. So this is the exact same example that I had up on the previous uh, page, but I've now written it in terms of its augmented form. And I can now do my Gaussian elimination to, uh, to, to row reduce it. So I'll just do the first stage right here. So 1, 3, minus 2, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0. 
So this is if I were to kill the two off, and this is if I were to kill the one off, I would end up with that. And I can do one more row reduction, and I have one, three, minus two, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 zero. Okay, and now we have to remember what are my pivots and what are my pivot uh, pivot columns and my free variables. So here are my pivots. Okay, so these are the pivot columns and I have no pivot in this column right here. So this tells me that X3 is a free variable. So according to the theorem, my homogeneous system of linear equations in this matrix right here will have an infinite number of solutions. Okay, so I'll write that out. So the homogeneous system of linear equations has a non-trivial solution. Okay, and just remember we had some terminology here about the about the pivots and the free variables. We called x1 and x2 basic variables and we call x3 a free variable. Okay. So we have a homogeneous system, we have some pivots, we have a free variable. Because we have a free variable we have to have an infinite number of solutions and because you have an infinite number of solutions you then have a non-trivial solution. Okay. Now we want to take this a little bit further and just say, well, can you actually describe all of the solutions? And we talked about this a little bit back when we introduced uh, systems of equations. Okay. Right. We want to describe all the basic variables in terms of the free. So this matrix right here, I, can, I still have it right here. I can rewrite this. This tells me I have my homogeneous system kind of reduces to x1 plus 3x2 minus 2x3 equals 0. And then I have that x2 is equal to 0. And so I can make uh, this, I can make my substitution, right? So this implies that x1 minus 2x3 is 0, and x2 is still remain 0. And I want to rewrite all my basic variables in terms of free variables. So I get x1 is equal to 2x3, and x2 is equal to 0. So what we end up having is a vector it's a solution to this homogeneous system of equations if and only if the vector x looks like x1, x2, and x3. And x1 we saw has to be equal to 2 times x3. x2 always has to be 0. And x3 is free. It's a free variable. So depending upon our choice of x3. So we can rewrite this as x3, 2, 0, 1, right? So x3 can be any real number. So we have our homogeneous system. Go back here just to kind of recap. We start with this homogeneous system of equations. We put it into our augment uh, matrix form. We're asking whether it has a non-trivial solution. So to see that, we row reduced it into this form. We saw that it has a free variable. Because it has a free variable, this theorem here tells me that it has to have a non-trivial solution. And what we're doing in the next page, oops, went too far. In the next page is we're actually describing all the solutions. So we describe the basic variables in terms of the free variables. And now we have that x is equal to 2x3, 0x3, which is uh, any multiple of the vector 2, 0, 1. So one way to think about what we've just done here is every solution of ax equals 0 lives in, what well, we want to think about what does this mean, and remember back from the previous uh, lectures, this is a linear combination 
uh, the vector 2, 0, 1. And we have all linear combinations. So we have that all the solutions live in the span of the single vector 2, 0, 1. All right, so remember by definition, this is the span. Oops, erase that, I don't need that. This is all linear combinations of the single vector 2, 0, 1. So we're going to take a quick break here. We talked a little bit about homogeneous systems of equations. And next, we want to talk about non-homogeneous systems of linear equations.